us everyone welcome to the charvak podcast this is your host kushal mehra all right so today's podcast this is how it came about abhijit sent me a voice note he said uh, india mein ghar banana bahut mushkil hai we have to do a podcast on this i have to share my experience but uh, be- better than me explaining what abhijit was to talk about i'll just as always welcome abhijit and tell him ye tujhe kya ho raha hai what is happening kis pe लर्न अबाउट okay uh, now what happens out here is that you have uh, uh, you know all of this started off with me thinking that this was going to be a fairly straightforward process then i started visiting buildings because i never do anything without a lot of research first going into it theek okay? uh, hai what you see requires every 10 minutes of conversation requires about almost 10 hours of reading research site visits conversations etc etc so what happened was like before i signed the contract so i had just before covid actually just before i went to jail in 2018 bought this uh, 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 a floor of a older house a 15 20 year old house uh, it was 15 then so it'd be 20 years old now uh, and at that time there were only three floors allowed today the gov- delhi government uh, allows still plus four okay uh, and the whole point of it was to redevelop that uh, uh, property uh, so i bought it and uh, then you know finally you know things moved because the other houses also need to agree to redevelop and all of that and finally we came to that now after four and a half five years when we come to the redevelopment stage i went around when i was looking for contractors to redevelop this whole thing i went around and what i found in terms of quality of delhi's top builders really shocked me you know in terms of the quality of material used in terms of the gar- they're not even willing to provide guarantees that your roof won't leak you know that so it 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 was quite uh uh, uh problematic even in terms of the materials and quality used uh you know i there wasn't a single house i went to now what happens is in delhi everybody says aap na mere liye five star hotel bana do now five star hotel ki matlab unki conceptualization kya if you don't mind me asking so here's the thing a lot of them won't have even stayed at a five star hotel because today if you buy the house for what uh uh uh, uh i got it for uh you know they save up a lot for buying that house but their idea of, they've never really lived in a luxury five star hotel for any stretch of time uh, at least enough to notice what is good about it what is bad about it or con- compare and contrast several five star hotels they think that having air conditioner uh, built in uh, not built in kya kehte hain wo split air conditioner and upvc windows and recessed lighting makes it a five star okay so what is a five star first of all in a five star you will have fantastic noise insulation okay uh, most delhi provi- builders don't even provide you with that they now they see there are several different things in the market as we talk i want to show you uh going to present okay now see i want you to see upvc windows this is the normal thing that is provided to you okay uh, this is your standard thing it is decent because kind of like a pressure cooker it has gaskets so it will keep out a lot of the dust it will uh, reduce say about 10 to 15% uh, energy uh, consumption but not more what you want technically is upvc double glazed windows and people don't understand the difference between this uh, because what happens is in double glazing this is double glazing so double glazing has something to do with the quality of the glass right no uh, what happens is 
it is you see this image here mm -hmm. uh let's open this uh see double glazing is two panes of glass with a inert gas trapped in between got it so okay. sound killer and uh, not just sound it reduces energy loss by 90% Mm, interesting. Okay, if you have an offset balcony, for example, now I want to find a the surest way of telling if the glass is double glazed or not. First of all, you should never go in for UPVC. You should always go in for aluminium frame. And the second way of telling if it is uh, a double glazed glass in India is you will see a kind of a metallic strip. in between the uh, uh uh this thing i'm going to try and find this uh, thing for you uh i've got it somewhere here um images but see you will see a little metallic strip between two sets of glass uh in a uh this thing window you have to ask for double glazed windows very specifically and when you look at this window it will be much heavier it will be aluminium frame and it will have a kind of a metallic strip that has the desiccant in between those two strips of glass you're right there you're looking at a uh, 90% saving of your energy costs now the problem is they'll all say upvc 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 without telling you what upvc what is the advantage upvc brings literally very little it's the double glazing which where all the effort gets put in next you need to insist on secure glass windows because what happens is you have rc1 rc2 rc3 rc4 rc1 is a uh, a uh, robber with a hammer can smash it some 5 6 times and break through mm -hmm. rc4 is almost armored Uh, this thing so in my house we insisted on rc3 and look this is a very very important thing that you have to invest in okay because it's about security you may love this sort of glass balcony glass look windows and full french doors and all of that but it isn't going to do anything for you uh, unless you uh, uh, actually have it secure what is the point of having this glass look if people are going to be able to come into your house so this then became a prolonged negotiation with the builder uh and you know he said you show me any other house in this category that has double glazed windows so i went to a house that did have double glazed windows uh asked uh, uh you know kushan kushan who's done the car podcast kushan mm -hmm. mitra his house that had double glazed windows and i showed him the video uh, uh, to the builder saying look it's a smaller house than mine uh, it has double glazed windows then he agreed to do that but that's not enough you need to insist with your builder look when you are a house owner redeveloping your house you have all the cards in your hands mm -hmm. okay when you are a house buyer you will have to shell out extra for these things because you will not be in a position to arm twist it okay right so this one investment will save you so much on energy you can just have for a 2000 square foot house you can have just one 2 ton ac running through the day and it will cool the entire house down if all the houses are open if uh, assuming all the windows are closed all the time of course uh that's the uh, and this is the other great thing about even upvc this is a benefit that even upvc gives you but double glazed more so is that it keeps the dust out you're looking at european or american house dust levels and you know uh that european or uh north american houses have almost no dust in them you vacuum once a week at most and the amount of dust you get even after that one week of vacuuming is less than the morning vacuum and the evening vacuum that happens in normal houses mm. in india right so it is huge in terms of uh, reducing the amount of work where your employees can then be used more productively doing other productive things instead of just vacuuming the house 
Now, the issue with double glazed windows is that they are about two to three times more expensive than UPVC windows. And UPVC windows are about two to three times more expensive than wooden windows. Now, the problem in India is people are more than happy to accept third rate quality at the time of construction and spend the rest of their life fixing everything that's gone wrong. See, 70% of your budget can't be on lighting and POP and crap like that. It has to be on the bones of the house. Unless you can extract waterproofing guarantees uh, from your builder, the chances are you will spend a lot of money trying to fix that house. Second, you recoup the investment in those windows within the first year in terms of energy saving. The third thing you need to worry about is your back balconies because, you know, Delhi houses are long and narrow. Uh, my plot is about uh, uh, the constructible part. It's, it's about 100 and something feet, but you're allowed to construct up to about 85 feet and it's about uh, 30 feet wide. Right. Now you have windows in the front and windows at the back. And each of those needs to be shielded by at least a six foot balcony. Now. You know, the other thing I found out is that builders include pillars and balconies in the FSI. Mm -hmm. Pillars and balconies are not included in the FSI. So when you're writing the contract and, you know, it is amazing how people simply don't read what the bylaws are. My mom always taught me before you start off a project, go read what the bylaws are. And they went on insisting, sir, balcony to itna hi aega. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Here are the bylaws. What does the bylaw say? A balcony can be any width and length as long as it is 1.5 meters away from the front and back compound wall. This applies in South Delhi. So you really need to first go to an architect friend of yours and get the local bylaws and read them through. Okay, uh, because they save money. The builder saves money on not giving you your full balconies and your full square footage. They throw because, see, they, they're getting their money irrespective, right? Uh, so they will actually give you a smaller house. It will be about 10 to 15% smaller than what you should technically be allowed to do. Then because it's a long, narrow house, there are two shafts in between to let the light in for the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, ground floor, the first floor and the second floor. Even that is not included in your FSI. And these people will include that in the FSI. So they are just cutting right. corners, essentially. They're cutting corners. And nobody in Delhi bothers negotiating. You know, uh, my lawyer, Nikhil, who you know, Nikhil Mera, who's been on this podcast. Uh, we were going through, I went on taking the bylaws and showing it to him. And he's like, oh, MCBC, what the hell? Are these people doing? Not one contract that we saw was properly negotiated. Not one of the buyers knew what their rights were. Not one of the uh, 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 developing owners knew what their due was. Okay. Hmm. So this then had to be done. The third thing, the builder said we will build up to 15 meters. Three, four years back, the Delhi government authorized a height of 17.5 meters. Okay. Okay. So what happens is you have 17.5 meters. So that is 2.5 meters. Uh, approximately three to four feet added per floor. Where you can actually get a higher ceiling. Here all the ceilings are capped off at about eight feet. Now eight feet is nothing. Eight, eight and a half feet. You can take it up to 12 feet. There's something called the clear height, which is the height of the roof, uh, uh, floor to roof height, uh, excluding the false ceiling. At 17.5 meters, you get a floor to uh, ceiling height of 10.5 feet, excluding the false ceiling. Now, even that three feet, three to four feet that they cut, is a huge savings from them because that is the amount of cement that they've saved. That is the amount of brick that they've saved. Mm -hmm. Right. The next thing I found was that nobody is talking about uh, uh, the quality of fixtures and fittings. 
there are generic clauses saying that it will uh, fit uh, uh, storm proofing and earthquake proofing rules. Not one person that I know has actually gone and read what the storm proofing rules are and what the earthquake proofing rules are. Okay, so I actually had to go to my local corporation and things and find out what these uh, local earthquake proofing rules are, how the inspections are carried out, how the certification is given. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, you know, the maximum corruption in India happens at the municipal level. So then I inserted a clause out there because, you know, the builder and the municipal corporator would have some kind of an arrangement. And boss, I don't want to die when an earthquake comes. You know, this is how people die in the Turkey earthquake, where even new buildings were falling down because uh, municipal approvals ha had been given uh, uh, based on uh, agreement between the builder and the constructor kind of thing. So I insisted, I wrote it into my clause. It's called Annexure A, where each building, each uh, house owner specifies what they want in their house. We had to uh, 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 get... A, uh, uh, a, we had to insert a clause there saying, I will get my own contractor to certify the earthquake proofing of this particular house. Okay, so then that had to happen. Uh, the next thing that happened was they were like, generic clause in the contract, we will waterproof the house. Are you willing to give a guarantee? Are you willing to give a 20 year guarantee of that? No, they weren't. Right. And the problem is uh, this. There, there was also this thing where, you know, a lot of architects will mm -hmm. tell you, adjust, kalo, adjust, kalo. Nahi fir zyada. you know, the builder gets angry with you and they do this and that and whatnot uh, uh, kind of crap. And I just wasn't willing to let go. So, you know, there is actually a thing. There are certain principles uh, of waterproofing a house like that. First, you know, the roof ka jo parapet hai. Imagine this is the parapet and this is the floor. It can't be at a right angle like this. Okay. Because what happens is water then accumulates here mm -hmm. in this area. So what you have to do is you have to ensure that this is a concave surface at the edge. Mm -hmm. So a good builder will actually put a curve out here rather than keep this at a perfect 90 degree angle. Right. The next thing you have to do is there is a very specific process of waterproofing. And imagine I had to learn all of this because I was so disappointed in the quality of daddy builders and you know, the kind of generic uh, things that they were doing. Uh, you know, it has to be you first have to make the roof smooth. Mm. Then you actually have to pockmark the roof. So that you create a rough surface on which the waterproof will stick. Bedtime slide off. Kar hai uske mm. And then you're meant to, as per law, you're meant to test it for 24 hours by pouring, by flooding it with water. Mm. And you know, Delhi builders, what they do is they try to hand over the house in March, April before the monsoon sets in. So that you will not uh, 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 experience their magnificent construction and waterproofing uh, till two months later when the monsoon actually does set in. Mm. And then you realize what a big mistake you have made. Then we discovered that there was, you know, th there is actually very good treatment for this. There's something called elephant pride, which is a very cheap kind of a rubber or plastic. I don't know what material it is. Applique. Where imagine this is the cross section of your roof. Take it. This is the floor, and these are the two parapet walls on the side. You're meant to lay it in a layer like this, like a trough almost, so that it forms a continuous layer of rubber. On top of that, you're meant to overlap uh, geotextiles, which, and then you're meant to put another layer of elephant pride. And for me, I insisted on two layers of geotextiles and three layers of elephant pride. You have to insist that even it goes over the parapet to the edge of the parapet. Then the rain finds this particular side gap. Chai. Exactly. This is all things that, uh, you know, builders are simply not willing to do. So you have to be very, very careful about that. Then 
uh, you know, it was uh, uh, the the next problem was the quality of the concrete and the mixing of the concrete because a lot of these builders adulterate the concrete. वो तो standard mixes होते हैं ना वो तो you can order standard mixes. Yeah, but even that they adulterate, boss. Yeah. Even that they adulterate. That is surprising. That, th- this is the country. This is the country we live in. I didn't realize I had to put so much effort into this. You know, I visited. Uh, you know, my driver Sachin. Sachin and I. Sachin has now become a building expert. After having, we visited about seventy-five undersite constructions to see what the hell was happening in all these places. You have tortured I, that guy so much, bichara. <laughs> bichara, but he looks after me. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So then, what happens is, uh, was uh, you know. Uh, you you then have to uh, see. You need to visit these sites and see because I can't speak about Bombay. I can't speak about Bangalore. I can't speak about Kolkata. Because her jagah me contractor ka alag hi uh, uh, fraud hota hai or substandardness hota hai. And see, we still don't have laws to regulate this kind of thing. There are no standard uh, construction guidelines issued. If they are issued, the local municipals, which is where. Uh, uh, this thing happens is uh, very uh, it's so corrupt that a builder can just keep paying the money and get away with it theek hai to isme kya tha ki concrete ka quality dekhna tha then we had to look at the quality of the piping okay uh, everything when you and you don't realize this till you visit construction sites क्योंकि पाइपिंग में भी ये लोग क्या करते हैं दे आर सो बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट स्किल्ड लेबर कमिंग एंड फिटिंग योर पाइपिंग यू नो दिस इज माइग्रेंट लेबर फ्रॉम झारखंड बिहार एंड गॉड नोज वेयर हु आर वेरी बैडली ट्रीटेड हु आर वेरी पोअरली पेड हु आर सेविंग अप टू टेक एवरीथिंग दे कैन होम हु हैव नॉट बीन गिवन एनी ट्रेनिंग ऑन फिक्सिंग दोस पाइप सो दर्ज अ लॉट ऑफ सीमेंट वेन पाइप्स आर बींग ज्वाइंट विद ईच अदर दिस सीमेंट इन देर विच एक्ट एज अ मेजर ब्लॉकर ऑफ थिंग्स कमिंग इन So then, I got the clause inserted that I am going to have a full-time contractor who is going to act as a building supervisor, who is going to take pictures of everything and send it back to me, and things have to be finished to my approval. Now, I could do this because I already owned the terrace or any floor in the house. If you have, you've got that leverage. So my advice is never go in for a, a new house. Always go in for a slightly older house that not slightly, quite an older house. Which needs to be redeveloped, and that is where your leverage comes in. And in key words used here uh, to the people who are watching this on YouTube or listening to this on the audio version, Abhijit keeps using the word house, not apartment. Uh, some apartment. of the things are apply. Ap- 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 it is an apartment. It's not a house. Yeah. Yeah. So, it is an apartment. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, t- try and understand because uh, some of these things are like not Mumbai centric issues. These are very Delhi centric issues. I'll talk about Mumbai and its problems later on. But continue. See Mumbai uh, here, you don't call it a flat unless it's like one of those building societies. Okay. Here, what happens is in Delhi, all of South Delhi had individual. Uh, uh, क्या कहते हैं इंडिविजुअल हाउसेस व्हिच देन वेर गिवन टू फ्लोर्स देन वेर गिवन थ्री फ्लोर्स एंड फाइनली नाउ हैव फोर फ्लोर्स वेर यू एंड अप बिल्डिंग फॉर फोर फ्लोर्स व्हिच हैव बिकम फ्लैट्स बट वी डोंट रेफर टू देम एज फ्लैट्स वी स्टिल कॉल देम बंगलोस इवन दो दैट इज नॉट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ बंगलो राइट सो लेट मी शो यू दिस जस्ट सो दैट आर ऑडियंस नोज This is like your typical kothi, na? Jo Punjab me or Delhi me usko kothi bolte hain, and and people have individual floors kind of a scenario, right? Right. So let me share this because I want to show you the difference between this. Share screen. ठीक है. Share. अब देखो. इसमें दिखाई दे रहा है ना? हमारे लिए ये flat होता है. हम्म. Okay. But this. Is not a flat according to us, even though the owner of each floor will be separate. This is a bungalow yes. according to us. Okay, why? Because this was actually originally one property where the FSI has now been increased to four floors and seventeen point five meters, and so even though these are technically flats, we do not recognize them as flats. 
इसको हम घर बोलते हैं yeah it's a uniquely deadly as, thing it's a uniquely deadly thing as opposed to this which will be a flat okay but remember the leverage of sitting on a piece of property and asking for the design to be modified will be greater no matter where even the society where you are uh, 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 kushal mm-hmm. by the very virtue of owning uh, uh, your house when that property gets redeveloped assuming it does you will have a disproportionate say in how it gets developed mm-hmm. as opposed to somebody who wants to buy off the uh, builder once it's built or even at the construction phase so it is much better to squat on property than it is to buy a, a brand new flat at the moment okay uh, or if you buy a flat buy it after 2 3 years of construction check it out because after 2 3 years uska price thoda gir jata hai normally uh, he normally it appreciates very significantly uh, so you know these are things you have to worry about because here people don't care about kis stage pe leverage milta hai kis stage pe leverage nahi milta hai theek hai i have found this buying of older houses and squatting on them which was always the plan for me uh, that i wanted to squat on this and then get uh, this thing up the our uh, next thing is you know indians just don't value quality boss wo dekh lete hain ki koi bhi banda mere uh, kitchen mein for example he is putting uh, ac okay he is putting uh, uh, hefele ka kitchen he is putting bosch or caf or faber ke appliances nobody wants a costing of these appliances and these and if you look at the hefele appliances they give you it's basic stock standard mdf nobody actually wants to go to a hefele showroom or a hetich showroom find out what is all in offer and specify their kitchen to what they want but every kitchen is not the same your mother has very different cooking habits from my mother who has very different cooking habits from me so you know the kitchen my mother wants is not the same kitchen that i want okay uh, and some of these fittings are quite expensive and this is why you need to have this counter so i put in these columns out there which again became a big issue saying gst ye wo blah blah nonsense and finally we found out that there was no gst applicable to a court gst is applicable to sale not to a court okay uh, so what happened was i went and i saw that all the things that were being offered they were never giving me direct answers on which fittings and what kind of fittings they were going to put into the kitchen then i went to the hefele showroom found what i liked some of it was expensive and i said i want this and hum to nahi de sakte so i said fine you give me a listing of how much your kitchen costs i will give you a listing of all the equipment that i want and i you you will then uh, i will pay the balance amount between what you're offering and what i want you will also get a quote but i will separately get a quote from the manufacturer because they will quote you more unnecessarily and this is where having an architect friend helps because they will get bulk quotes in order or if you know somebody in a construction thing you can get the quotes out of them samajh gaye so this was a very very important thing now one of the biggest things that these guys were advertising was we offer you a bosch ka किचन चिमनी वो इलेक्ट्रिक चिमनी होता है ना कैसा वाला लेट मी शो यू अगेन ओके बीस ये वाले जो है ना ओके डू यू नो दीज आर द मोस्ट यूजलेस थिंग्स यू विल एवर पुट इन योर ब्लडी हाउस वाय एक छोंक डालो ही का दाल में या तो लसन का तड़का डालो या तो हींग का तड़का डालो दीज थिंग्स आर सो यूजलेस दे कांट सक दम आउट डू यू नो दैट सी दीज आर मेंट फॉर यूरोपियन किचन विच आर डू वेरी जेंटील कुकिंग दे डोंट डू हमारी तरह यू नो दिस हाई फ्लेम कढ़ाई करछी स्टाफ तड़का मारना सीधे फ्लेम पे पनीर को सेकना ताकि घर पे पनीर टिक्का बने एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट 
सो द काइंड और ये ना धूंगार देना विच इज कोल दही के ऊपर कोयला लगा के फिर उस पर थोड़ा घी लगा के बंद करना ताकि दही में वो स्मोक का टेस्ट आ जाए लस्सी बनाने के पहले एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट दे डोंट डू दैट सो आई एम एक्चुअली गेटिंग अ कमर्शियल चिमनी फॉर माई किचन because that actually removes and it doesn't matter how high tech and how many volume uh, 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 cubic meters of air uh, they claim all of this removes all of them all of these commercial kitchen hoods or chimneys whatever you call them are uniformly useless mm mm-hmm. if you want to test what i'm saying uh i want you to go and ask the guy भैया आप इसका डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन लगाओ मैं बस एक हींग का चौंक लगाना चाहता हूं एंड डू अंग का चौंक इन सरसों का तेल इन द शोर उसकी स्मेल भी नहीं जाएगी शोरूम से वो करने ही नहीं देंगे फर्स्ट यू डोंट से दिस इमीडिएटली फर्स्ट गो टेल दम इसका मैं टेस्ट कर सकता हूं हाँ सर कभी भी आके टेस्ट कर लीजिए and they will try to sell you their most expensive uh, stone for putting an, on your counter top surface there are two things you need to do with that test you will say you let me test this for stain they will say totally stain resistant sir hindustan mein aisa patthar nahi hai it can do anything uh okay track them then say theek hai i am going to come and test two things in mustard oil i will put a heeng ka tadka number 1 in that same hinka tadka i will put turmeric haldi and then i will pour it over the hot oil i'm going to pour it over the stone and it is going to be the whitest stone you have which you are recommending to me as stain proof just second nahi lagega for them to withdraw the offer of testing so basically Now, what you're saying is these products are not designed for indian cooking or indian anything they just they import it they just complete imported shit none of the people that have designed any of this crap have any idea of how an indian kitchen works and no bloody indian even wants to know because they're like main thodi na pakane wala hu oye wo meri nokrani aake pakayegi oye and then tumhari sab kapdon mein tumhare pure ghar mein heeng ka chhidke ka chhonk chhonk ka bu aayi i mean i love heeng ka chhonk fine but that doesn't mean everybody else has to suffer the heeng ka chhonk na it doesn't have to go into my curtains and my clothes and my sofa set because it is a uh, 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 fabric that absorbs all that smell so this was the other thing the third thing is you know everybody will settle for built in hop भाई बिल्ट इन हॉब में भी हॉब होते हैं और हॉब होते हैं ओके टेल मी एवरी टाइम यू हैड ए फाइव बर्नर हॉब लेट्स अगेन डू अ प्रेजेंट स्क्रीन थिंग बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट पीपल टू सी दिस ये देखो ये सब बॉश के बिल्ट इन हॉब्स हैं नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट यू टू चेक दीज आउट इसमें ये दो एक साइज के हैं दिस वन एंड दिस वन Mm-hmm. this one is a big one this one is tiny and this one is somewhere medium size mm-hmm. okay or you look at this one this one's even better uh open image in new tab can you see this standalone image now yes okay no no new now tab mein koi new tab mein kholna padega na new tab click karna padega sure, i have but uh, one second no but uh, wo share screen mein you'll have to open the same page again yeah 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 uh, share screen uh, this one okay so now if you look at this hmm. i want you to look at this theek hai hmm. this is one size this and this diagonally opposite are another size this Good. is a third size this is a fourth size अब भाई तू कौन होता है मेरे को बोलने के लिए दैट आई शुड ओनली हैव वन बिग बर्नर टू मिडिल बर्नर्स वन छोटा बर्नर एंड वन दिस इफ यू एक्चुअली ट्राई वर्किंग ऑन दिस यू विल फाइंड यू कांट एक्चुअली फिट टू बिग पॉट साइड बाय साइड विदाउट एवरीथिंग क्लैशिंग विद एवरीथिंग एल्स सो दीज फाइव बर्नर हॉब्स आर द मोस्ट यूजलेस क्रैप यू कैन 
ever put in your किचन और ये भी लोग सोचते नहीं है ठीक है सो वॉट आई एम पुटिंग इज समथिंग क्वाइट डिफरेंट इट इज अमेंस का सिंगल बर्नर हॉब फर्स्ट लुक एट दिस आई एम पुटिंग एन इंडक्शन इन द मिडल बिकॉज वेन इट गेट्स हॉट वेन इट गेट्स हॉट यू नीड इंडक्शन ओके एंड हियर आई कैन देर इज नो लिमिट टू द साइज ऑल ऑफ दीज ब्रिज टूगेदर एंड आई कैन यूज दिस कंप्लीटली नाउ डोंट गो बाई दिस प्राइस हियर बिकॉज वेन यू एक्चुअली गो टू सीमेंस एंड आस्क फॉर कोर्ट्स और इफ यू आस्क योर बिल्डर फ्रेंड फॉर अ कोर्ट you will get it at less than half the price okay these are all the mrps you can get it very very cheap if you're good at bargaining theek hai next i want you to look at this to isme kya ho raha hai siemens single burner hob ye dekh ye dikh raha hai na Mm-hmm. Can you see this? Yeah, Now yeah. here, what happens is I am putting one of these on each side, separating it by six inches, and then putting the induction in the middle. So I have unrestricted pot size in the middle, and the beauty of this particular one, uh, the Siemens hob, which is also available in Bosch, is that it goes down both to the smallest flame of twenty to thirty BTU. of 20 to 30 btu and it goes to the highest flame of about 6000 btu to to wo doodh ko bahut gently heat karna hai wo bhi kar sakte ho main iska na video dhoondta hu uh ye shayad video hai let's see iska video bhi hota hai ha ek second ek second ruko uh let me stop sharing and show you the new one stop screen present share screen वीडियो में वॉल्यूम नहीं डालना नहीं तो कॉपीराइट स्ट्राइक होएगा हाँ, म्यूट करके वीडियो दिखाना हाँ, या तो वेबसाइट का वीडियो दिखाना तो कोई इश्यू नहीं होता यूट्यूब का कुछ भी दिखाया तो कॉपीराइट स्ट्राइक होता ठीक है अब ये देखो इसमें क्या है कि ये दिस इज द फुल वॉक फ्लेम दैट यू कैन सी राइट नाउ ओके विच इज ऑल थ्री ऑफ द फ्लेम बर्निंग इन फ्लेम आउटसाइड फ्लेम इन बोथ रिंग्स ठीक है it's got great precision of control but then at the lowest setting you can just reduce it to can you see the way the corona reduced mhm and see that dekh rahe ho na ek isme pura ka pura aa gaya this video is a proof that you cook and i don't <laughs> yeah but see if somebody is cooking at home that you care about and love uh your mother your wife whatever or your husband or whatever would you not want that ease see for me having servants at home is an intolerable intrusion into my privacy i don't want them hanging around mm mm-hmm. okay so i don't want them in the house i cook a lot but even if you didn't if you like cooking if you don't like cooking having a kitchen like this will help you like cooking mhm most people don't want to cook because they have horrible bloody kitchens okay they will always complain ki ye jal gaya wo jal gaya ye nahi hai wo nahi hai etc 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 so there is absolutely no application of mind and no uh, uh, this thing on detail ab kyu main aise kar raha hu ki do side pe maine ye lagaya hai flame and flame 6 inches 6 inches and beech mein uh, induction because what happens is what an advertisement some... saale cigarette ka dabba dikha raha hai <laughs> it's it's only what i had on hand theek hai to aisa now what happens is i can get things hot very quickly induction especially if you're cooking in summer you can get a pressure cooker a full blown pressure cooker into full steam in a minute to two minutes max which you simply can't with the two flames okay so with this and this 
it is going to take you 10 15 minutes there are lots of videos on youtube which you can google and find which will uh, show you the difference in speed especially if you get a good company like siemens or bosch or something like that it's like that you start there and you finish off on the flame because induction doesn't give you the kind of temperature control that uh, a flame does especially for indian cooking but in summer where you don't want to be boiling in the kitchen you want the kitchen to be a fantastic experience so look at what is offered fir ye kya karte hain ki kitchen mein they will give you cupboard up to 7 feet mm -hmm. okay by 7 feet se leke jo 8 feet tak hai it is an empty thing that they've put out there why it's just more dust accumulation for you to clean insist it gets shut up so that you can uh, you know store unwanted pots or groceries or something you know groceries that you use very rarely or old pots that everybody has that they don't use on a daily basis up there it's an additional storage area okay uh they don't do that bathrooms another big thing do you know there are things called rimless toilets for me i'm paranoid about that rim under the toilet so i have a special spray where i take bleach every week and spray it under and i had i buy these rubber gloves because i'm totally ocd about these things and i go in myself i don't expect my service staff to do it i do it myself i take wo jo metal wo lata hai na wo jaake rubber glove pehen ke main sab andar ka andar saaf karta hu uske andar jo bhi hai and then i flush everything out i throw that metal wool there i remove that glove there and i flush everything down the thing it's not good for your drainage but that is how ocd i am but now you get rimless stuff which is fantastic us may be and this is for guys watching uh you know uh guys like you know you need to go test out toilets boss because you know all toilets are not made for pissing do you know how many people i know for women they sit down and piss so you don't get splatter you need to find a toilet that doesn't have a flat surface for all that thing because if you're pissing on not into the water and into this sab upar chhidakta hai there are actually lots of badly designed toilets koi chutiya idhar bol raha hai sure aim as consulted ak arvind kejriwal kamine i am actually a good uh, interior okay i am not like piece of shit that built that piece of shit for arvind kejriwal sale iska naam nikalo iska username nikalo iske khilaf mein police case file karenge defamation ka sala mere ko wo chutiya uh, uh, interior decorator samajh ke rakha hai kya tune labda kahi ka चल तो मालूम है लोगों को ये भी नहीं मालूम है लोग सिर्फ जाते हैं और सुसु करते हैं या तू बता रहा है कि टॉयलेट में भी वेरिएशन होती है सी दिस इज द थिंग इफ यू आर डूइंग समथिंग दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ केयर आई पुट समटाइम्स यू गेट इट रॉन्ग ऑफ कोर्स लाइक आई रिसर्च समटाइम्स यू विल गेट इट रॉन्ग बट बॉस यू हैव टू बी मेटिकुलस विद एवरीथिंग यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन टू एवरीथिंग दे विल टेल यू द स्टैंडर्ड बिल्डर इन दिल्ली फॉर अ 300 स्क्वायर यार्ड हाउस व्हिच इज व्हाट माइन इज विल टेल यू वी विल गिव यू मार्बल to the cost of 300 rupees per square uh, uh, meter okay uh for 300 rupees per square meter you can get most of the marble you'll get will be extremely porous ek cheez gir gayi udhar stain aa jayega what you need is matte finish vitrified tiles which look like marble which are extremely tough which are not going to stain of course i'm going in for wooden floors because uh, i'm more aesthetic than i am functional in certain things but because i believe a floor has to be wood okay i don't like uh, but wood mein maintenance ki tarah ko problem aayegi no uh, so here again is the thing wood mein maintenance ki problem aayegi agar tumne uh, if you have wooden windows and things like that where it's open to the climate and this and that but if you lead an air conditioned lifestyle like i do and you can with double glazed windows if you have invested in that you can keep your entire house cool with just one two ton ac running 90% of your energy saved boss in my case it's even better because i have the top floor i also get the roof i have 100% of the roof 
and I'm installing the solar roof, which comes to about a thousand kilowatts or something of solar. So we did the calculations. Nikhil ke ghar mein solar laga hai. You know his electricity bill has reduced by ninety percent. He has his ACs on twenty four seven in a three story house, and his electricity bill is coming to about thousand two hundred to two thousand rupees a month. That's impressive. Okay. That's very impressive. So if you get the top floor, uh, you then put in uh, a solar roof. A solar roof is going to. It is of course it's an investment. It's an on grid solar. It's not going to act like a generator. It's going to feed back into the grid. But then the government only charges you for uh, the balance of what you've used, what you've put in back into the grid. You are not charged for. They don't pay you for it. अब देखो इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट मेरे घर के लिए अगर दस इट कम्स टू जस्ट अंडर टेन लैक्स इट्स नाइन पॉइंट सेवन समथिंग लैक्स फॉर द एंटायर थिंग टू बी सोलर रूफ दैट इज गिविंग मी दैट इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग माई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यूसेज इन टू नेगेटिव इवन दो द हाउस इज गोइंग टू बी सेंट्रली एयर कंडीशन विद वी आर ओके सो अंडरस्टैंड देर आर वेज ऑफ ऑफ सेटिंग कॉस्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट इन लो इन्वेस्टमेंट you're going to get low returns if you're willing to invest in the bones of the house but wait to do up the interior slowly 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 the returns to you are going to be massive nikhil has already made back and nikhil has a much bigger house than me he has a 500 square yard plot which you've been to anand has been to all of you have been to it uh, a 500 square yard plot i have a 300 square yard plot and i've only got one floor in there Nikhil has a 500 square yard plot with three floors. Okay, so almost each floor is almost double mine, and he's got three floors. Imagine mm-hmm. him getting a bill for thousand two hundred, two thousand rupees a month for electricity bus, with the AC running twenty four seven. Okay, it pays the investment pays you back. He would have gotten zero had he installed double glazed windows, which he did not. Okay, mm. you need not to go in for gimmicks. Now they all offer you these uh, new fangled switches as well. The problem with the switches and the air AC venting when they're doing it is when they're doing the rest of the work, cement gusta hai usme, and people don't realize this. I didn't realize this till I went and saw all the construction happening. You are offsetting that cost within the first year. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't have the top roof, obviously, then you've got the second floor or third floor. But just your uh, uh, this thing, your uh, putting double glazed windows everywhere, gives you such a huge saving. Why would you not go in for that? You know, I never understand this. Indi- have you noticed this Indian mindset? Um, हम AC नहीं चलाएंगे गाड़ी में. थोड़ा सा स्वेट कर लेते हैं अच्छा है दे वेंटिलेशन इज गुड फॉर द सिस्टम व्हाई बिकॉज इट सेव्स ऑन फ्यूल यू नो कार्स आर टेस्टेड ऑन फ्यूल एफिशिएंसी विद द विंडोज ओपन दे टेस्टेड फॉर फ्यूल एफिशिएंसी विद द विंडोज क्लोज्ड यू एक्चुअली लूज अ लॉट मोर फ्यूल बिकॉज ऑफ द एरोडायनामिक ड्रैग व्हेन योर विंडोज आर ओपन देन व्हेन योर विंडोज आर क्लोज्ड एंड योर एसी इज ऑन और हमारे लोग की चूती है ये भी नहीं समझते the worst are on bloody highways where they think not switching on at night all these scooters and autos and things like that where not switching on the light at night saves you petrol huh they believe that okay you will be amazed at the number of accidents that happen because they're going on the wrong side of the road as well because they don't want to spend the money going all the way around and doing a u turn and switching the lights off so you know there's this sort of very niggardly now somebody is saying sabke paas paisa nahi hota aim boss sabke paas paisa nahi hota hai main isiliye bol raha hu ye sab karo because it saves you so much in the long run what part of that are you not understanding why are you such an idiot If you don't invest in the beginning in double glazed windows, your life is going to be much more miserable. Your electricity costs are going to be much much higher. 
I want you to find a flat where that has double glazing and stimulate a, a simulate a current out situation. In a house without double glazing, when the AC goes off, within five minutes, you will start sweating. But in Indians are very cost conscious. So if they will invest in an electric scooter, thinking they save on gas, they will invest on certain things, thinking they'll save on electricity costs. It just right. depends on the payback period. If the payback period is like uh, five to seven years, I oh, see Indians yeah. tend to but invest. But here you're making it back in one year. Ek saal mein tumhara, you're making back the money in electricity cost. In this house, my electricity cost is anywhere between twelve to seventeen thousand a month. It's a yeah, very so, efficient house. Uh, people say you tend to save around uh, eighty thousand, ninety thousand a year on double glazed windows. Now, I, uh, now, now, is that worth it? Is my follow up question. Uh, uh, how much does a double glazed window add to your cost? Eight, eighty to ninety percent. Of usage is saved. So, like I was saying, switch off the electricity and you stay in that air conditioned room, it will stay cool for an hour and a half up to two hours. Mm -hmm. Where do you understand the difference between sweating after five minutes and sweating after uh, 95, 90 minutes? Mm. That's the difference. Okay, one AC cooling down an entire two thousand square foot house. Yeah, and and electricity costs are also dependent on who's your electricity supplier. So, for example, if you are in Mumbai in certain suburbs, if you go with Adani Electricity in comparison to say Reliance or Tata Power or MSCDCL, oh my God, there is a huge rate difference among amongst the four suppliers. Also, a lot of people don't realize that that sometimes even switching an electricity supplier will save you electricity costs. Yeah. And imagine on top of that, and see, people don't do research. No? Mm -hmm. What do you do? So, you know, this lack of insistence on quality was something that really disturbed me. And you know, it was quality that makes your life easier. And so, okay, so this, this was one thing. So this we spoke about the kitchen. Then we spoke about the bathroom. Now, uh, let me just show you this. This is some of the things that are available on. Uh, these are some of the kitchen appliances, uh, uh, the kitchen interiors that are available at Hefley and I want you to look at them because is me kya hota hai ki it makes life so easy for you uh one second ye main aapko bhej raun. okay so this is a fridge apparently yeah well this is the fridge that I'm having installed this one's a standalone freezer unit and one is a standalone uh, fridge unit uh next so this is like the whole thing one two three uh, I'm just getting the two on the side. Okay, Marvala, it's a big fridge. Haan, but you don't have to do that. Now, look at this. No builder is going to give you this. Wo bas MDF bana ke denge. They don't want to because they don't know you want something. Mm -hmm. Okay. You understand? They don't know that you know what is... No, no, don't go ahead. Go back, go back. Mm -hmm. Go back. Now, isme do cheese hai. All your chota chota bottles and things like that you keep on the door. Usse bhi agar thoda bada bottle hai you keep there and on the lowest two racks you can store your big bories of rice and things like that. Now this go to the next. Optimum thing. utilization of space. This is optimum utilization. One of this will save you so much. Look at this. This is the unit I'm going for. This is for all the small sauce bottles and everything and the chota chota packets and things like that. It's a full pull-out system with six different pull-out racks. And it is so easy to navigate this. 
Yeah, this just for the record, no, Abhijit or I, we are not paid by any of these brands, huh? Before somebody starts assuming we are paid by any. No, we're not. <laughs> we're paying these fucking brands to get it into. Our yeah. House. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I wanted to share this with you because yeah. look, this is for a small kitchen. Now, assume in you're in Bombay. Hmm. Bombay me kitchen itne tiny hote hain. And so you this is actually kitchen. something that Mumbaiers could use actually. Absolutely. Now, Aur for yes, a tiny stainless kitchen, stainless I, I'm, I'm going to show you two units, which will complete your kitchen in just two cupboards, as opposed to going to all those posh things like Lodha World Tower, Lodha One, uh, what, uh, uh, wo kya tha hum beach me kaun sa gaye the? Wo Juhu beach me kya flat tha? Aur hamara yeah. Ranveer Alabadiya kahan pe hai? An- Andheri West, uske ghar me kitchen. Ah, Lokhand wala side pe. Ah, Lokhand wala and things like that. Hmm. Boss, hmm. when you have small kitchens. This unit maximum retail price is about one point nine five lakhs. Mm-hmm. If you bargain, you'll get it for one. Mm-hmm. Now they'll be one lakh. Who will spend? Karega is pe. BC, dekh to lo kya hai. In a small kitchen, it gives you so much flexibility and space. It makes your life so goddamn easy. Why would you not go for this? Just one unit of this is worth it. Instead of your uh, uh, builder. Giving you a whole kitchen full of crap, going for one or two good units like this. This is for all the small things. Now go to the next image. So this is the uh, uh, tap. I'm go- uh, the uh, uh, wash basin. I'm going for. It's black quartz because it won't stain. I've actually done. My guy was actually kind enough to let me do the chonka tadka, which failed miserably. None of his extractors could get it. But then when I poured the chonka tadka into this wash basin, which is made of the same material, it's called Caesar stone or something. Uh, uh, it did not stain. This is after the stain test that I took this photo. Okay, so I actually good. tested it. Okay, next photo. Okay, and this is the other unit I'm getting. So I'm only getting one unit of that that you saw, and one unit of this. Is me sab tomare bhari bhari chize, rajma, dale, chawal, atta, gehu, all of that comes. Now each one of these cupboards, the previous cupboard and this cupboard is just thousand two hundred mm wide. Mm. Okay. Thousand two hundred plus two one thousand two hundred two point four uh, no sorry they're nine hundred mm wide so nine hundred plus nine hundred is one point eight meters one point eight meters is how many feet anyway they're they're one point eight meters wide in one point eight meters you have completed your entire kitchen storage that you can pull out push back in that you have very easy access to why would you not do that. One point eight meters is five point nine feet. That's it. That's it. But how does it? South Indians कैसे होंगे? इतना कम चावल रखते हैं South Indian? No, but look, look at the height of this. This is seven feet high, boss. You can. Oh, boy, Gujarati लोगों को तेरे को मालूम है ना आदत है एक महीने का चावल store करने की. हाँ, तो मैं भी तो करता हूँ. अरे ये गुजराती लोग मेरे साथ क्या competition करेंगे? मेरे पास पंद्रह किस्म के चावल हैं घर पे पता है तूने क्या चावल की दुकान करके रखी है नो बिकॉज आई लाइक राइस सो आई हैव थाई जैजमिन राइस आई हैव गोबिंदो भोग राइस इवन फ्रॉम बेंगाल अलोन आई हैव फाइव डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ राइस From Tamil Nadu I have two varieties of rice. From uh, 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 Kerala I have one variety of rice. From North India I have about another three four varieties of rice. Kacha Basmati, Sela Basmati, Ambe Mohar. Ambi Mohar is a Marathi rice. It's a lovely rice, uh, and I have Kerala red rice, and I have Manipuri black rice. Hmm. And I have in some of them I have five six kilos of rice. People don't realize. See, the question you're asking me is what all of it fits into this. I took all. Sachin se pucho. Sachin se maine kitna kam karwaya. Pata hai. सब गेहूं के डब्बे देर ऑल कैप्टन टपरवेयर सो आई टुक ऑल द टपरवेयर डब्बास ही हैड टू डू टू राउंड्स इन द कार टू गेट ऑल द डब्बास टू द शोरूम एंड आई फिटेड ऑल ऑफ देम इनटू दिस एंड इट्स इजी बिकॉज़ यू कैन पुल एवरीथिंग आउट एंड जस्ट लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द टॉप कि क्या है 
basically you need a lot of patience to do all of this can i say that see your house you're only going to buy it once i get see, what you're saying the kitchen is important so i invested a lot of time in the kitchen next photo okay yeah i'll pull this one up okay this is that same unit i showed you but this is the one shut see how compact it is hmm no these are uh, in terms of utilitarianism these are actually very utilitarian that but i then, accept why would you not go in for something like this that makes your life easy it makes cleaning easy it makes everything easy look especially if you're like i don't know if i should say i think in india now if you are middle class and above you should look at these options what we have you discussed should, right? you should but, i no. understand if you are a lower income group you can't in it is i understand that but if you are middle class and above these are actually sensible things you are talking about yeah uh, look at the next and you know the strange thing is the commercial hood the commercial kitchen extractor is mm -hmm. cheaper it is 100 times more powerful and it is cheaper than your Uh, 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 your Bosch and your CAF and this thing uh, chimneys. Hmm. Acha. By the way, there are no more images after this. You know, Bola. Next image. There is no next image. So this is how you think about. You know, they don't think about space. So I had to do my own space planning for the house. Bosch. <laughs> no, but see, you have to understand. It also depends on the house, Abhijit. Like. Uh, uh, I can understand these things because I actually built the factory. So, my experience in terms of space was. But what happens? I mean, when you plan something, you plan something. Now, your it's a lot of it is not in your hands because either you're constructing it from scratch. Then, like in a factory, you can construct it from scratch. So, where do you want the pillar and uh, to be placed? And then you can design your load uh, distribution accordingly in a factory. But in a house, I like most people will buy a ready-made apartment, Abhijit. So, therein lies the thing. even at the ready made stage you go in and insist on certain things that make your life easier mm hmm the ready made apartment you go buy it at the this is why i'm telling people right at the beginning go buy an older thing that's getting primed for redevelopment that's always the best thing to do i waited for 5 years i mean you can also wait for 5 years so what you're and saying do not waste money on the interior of the house buying expensive chandeliers buying expensive exactly. curtains stuff like that but be, uh, invest in the bare bones of your house which eventually you can build your house by saving money and you can get those artsy artifacts paintings etc etc et later on yeah exactly invest in the other things slowly but what what about this accusation that is and this is a genuine accusation thrown against indians and uh, this is that indians actually don't pay enough to architects and architects are always scared to uh, share uh, or their uh, their inputs uh, and the other side of the story is architect hamesha paisa banane ko laga hua hai wo chor hai so how do we find a mid ground so the thing is architects will do what you want them to do the problem with architecture training is like everything else in india it is maine tumko sikha diya jo maine tere ko sikhaya wo kar tu apna dimag mat laga that is the standard thing everything is dimag mat laga which is why you remember we have spoken about this independent india has yet to produce any great architecture Yeah, it hasn't. The, if the government buildings are any standard, then we haven't. <laughs> yeah. What is strange is that the leader in architecture in South Asia is surprisingly Sri Lanka. Would you believe they build incredibly beautiful and ecologically sensitive houses? Acha, I have a question. You are a pet owner. What about pets in a house? Like, have you given that a thought? I just so, randomly thought a of it. lot. The house. I bought the house for my pets. Okay. So, I bought so what the house. Was, what pets. was the input there? The input there was very simple. First, I'm having internal staircase to the terrace because I own the entire terrace. That's the way things work in Delhi. That the top floor owns the entire terrace. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, whole thing is uh, because there's an internal staircase. The dogs and cats can go up and come down whenever they want. Mere bedroom me. 
और जो इंटरनल स्टेयर के से छत का जो दरवाजा है उसमें इट हैज फ्लैप डोर्स सो द डॉग्स एंड कैट्स कैन गो इन एंड कम इन व्हेनेवर दे वांट द अदर थिंग आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम पुटिंग कैमरास अक्रॉस द पब्लिक एरियाज ऑफ द हाउस सो दैट आई कैन मॉनिटर एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेयर माय डॉग्स एंड कैट्स आर उनको टाइम पे खाना मिला है व्हेन आई एम अवे इन इटली और समथिंग लाइक दैट आर दे गेटिंग फेड एट द करेक्ट टाइम I went in for the air conditioning so that they would not be miserable when I am not around when the ACs aren't switched on. I give instructions for ACs to be switched on; they are never done. I have to call in screech. Mm-hmm. Okay, or I get my friends to come and stay here, or I uh, pack off my dogs to Nikhil's house because Nikhil loves Nikhil and his wife love my doggies. Or unke liye us ghar mein hamesha AC on rehta hai, so I'm very happy ki mere bachcho ke liye AC on rehta hai. एंड बिल्ली को वैसे भी एसी अच्छा नहीं लगता है यू नो कैट्स प्रेफर वॉर्म्थ एंड डॉग्स प्रेफर कूल ओके ठीक है चलो नाउ आई विल आस्क यू ऑल द क्वेश्चंस सो दिस इज अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन ऑन फैनमो समबडी हैज आस्क सो यू लेट मी पुल इट अप तो इतना लंबा क्वेश्चन है ओके uh abhijit most of the indian houses are constructed with cement sans ventilation which is kind of uncomfortable during summer monsoon and the same is with glass so i'm curious to know the technique behind how houses flats and office buildings constructed at western eastern europe middle east and southeast asian countries like china singapore and vietnam do to add to the use of normal acs in their houses flats buildings or is there some specific coolant system So all the great houses, in fact, the best houses I've been to in Southeast Asia. Uh, I classify Sri Lanka also as Southeast Asia. It's not really South Asia, but they're much cleaner than South Asians. Uh, you'll never come across a dirty place in um, Sri Lanka. Uh, so uh, Vietnam and Sri Lanka and some Thai houses are some of the most stunning houses I've seen, and there they use cross ventilation. In India, जहां लू लगता है, where you have a very dry heat and the kind of heat you have out here without too much greenery, cross ventilation actually surprisingly does not work out here very well. It works when you have big grounds. So, for example, I want how many of you have actually been to Kerala to Padmanabhapuram Palace? If you not go to me. the throne room at Padmanabhapuram Palace, again, let me do this. I'm going to show you the throne room at the Padmanabhapuram Palace. बस उसमें एसी नहीं है इट इज कूलर देन एनी एसी रूम ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एंड टू शो यू दर एंसेस्टर्स यार लोग जाली क्यों नहीं लगाते मच्छर से भी रोकने का काम हो जाता है मेरे हाँ. घर में तो जाली है सबसे बेस्ट काम किया मच्छर मैंने मेरे घर में जब खिड़की में जाली लगाई मेरे घर में मच्छर नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट चले गए Okay, so this is Padmanabhapuram Palace. Can you see? And this mm-hmm. is the throne room of the Padmanabhapuram Palace. Can you see how beautiful it is? Mm-hmm. It is. Um. Okay. See how beautiful this is. Okay. Let me put so it what? up again. Hmm. It is beautiful. Oh my! Mm. my. This was the throne room where the raja, where the uh, raja used to sit. Mm-hmm. Boss, this is the coolest room I have ever been in. No air conditioning ever. वो पता है क्या करते हैं इधर जो lattice तुमको side पे दिखाई दे रहा है ये देखो इधर side पे ये जो lattice yeah 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 ventilation basically. Not ventilation. What they do is they put uh, vetiver or straw out there and they sprinkle water on it. That's like khas, na? Khas ka jo effect hota tha, exactly. mein. Khas ka, pura khas ka effect so this entire room boss but even without the khas, it is so cool it maintains an internal temperature of something like 19 20 degrees i was actually shivering out there because i'd gone there wearing shorts but this is when you have space when you don't have space because of the heat trap effect of an urban environment you can't use things like cross ventilation hmm the iranians have a very different cross ventilation system but that again requires space so for example uh, iran um um 
विंड टनल हाउस ओके यू सी दिस वॉट इट डज इज इट कैचेज ड्राई डेजर्ट एयर it channels it down to where a chota sa like a 2 uh, foot by 2 foot pond is okay it cools it down completely and inside and you know i've seen these in yazd they cool the house down exactly outside it will be like 44 45 degree celsius inside it will be again like about 16 17 degree celsius it works better here because evaporative cooling works better in a dry climate right Hmm. and you have much bigger ones like this so we actually had natural cooling systems the problem is none of these are feasible in a modern urban environment if you're building a house depending hmm. on what it is if it's a, if if you're building a house in jaipur or some place really bone dry or delhi or the aravalli hills or something that's bone dry you can go in for something like this Mm-hmm. If you are building something in a humid area like Bombay, if you've got a uh, house somewhere in uh, I don't know what is the beach area near this thing, Juhu Beach, Chopati, um, are insanely expensive. If you go outside Bombay and have a beach house or a uh, this Bus. thing outside, you yeah. can go to Mud Island, Mud Island, yeah. both side by Western suburbs. Then you go buy, then you go set up something like this. और भाई इधर देख ये वुडन फ्लोर है बॉस दिखाई दे रहा है तेरे को वुडन फ्लोर या आई कैन सी इट्स वुडन फ्लोर्स एंड दे परफेक्ट दिस वन इज रेड ऑक्साइड फ्लोरिंग दैट साइड इज वुडन फ्लोरिंग बॉस दे आर सो कूल लुक एट द मिरर फिनिश ऑफ दिस यू कैन सी अ सिंगल टाइल इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ सिंगल पीस ऑफ ग्रेनाइट क्या मगर हाउ मच टाइम डिड दिस पीपल मस्ट हैव स्पेंड to get this not, kind of finesse not, and accuracy yaar not time attention to detail you know my mom tried putting these uh, uh, oxide floors usme se bar bar chuna nikalta raha nikalta raha nikalta raha but after 3 years the chuna nikalna because it looks like discoloration it stopped and since then it's been beautiful and in the other things we have chetinar tiles which kind of do the same thing chuna nikalte rehta hai do teen saal ke liye then it stops Mm. but you need somebody experienced to put these things and i want you to check chetinad uh, 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 atangudi tiles they called atangudi tiles they are so beautiful you don't even need a carpet you look at these these are atangudi tiles mhm the tiles in my house look like this theek hai they come in different colors they're completely natural they beautiful beautiful tiles you don't need carpets and they're much more useful than marble i can tell you that okay and they're very cheap they're actually very cheap but idhar dikhawa ka bahut ye hai mere ko marble chahiye wo bhi sasta ghatiya marble dalenge par marble hai You remember that a uh, video of the Pakistani guy who puts a, a cardboard uh, uh, fin stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer and pretend he is taking a Pakistani F-16 or JF-17 on a bombing run of Hitler. <laughs> well, he is Pakistani. The less I say, the better. So, ye log, uh, so think about how. See, there is no pre-fabricated cut and paste solution. Mm. each urban environment requires a different solution is my solution optimal no but it was optimal for the space and the shape of the plot i had that is all i could afford in delhi okay mm. uh so if you live in bombay you will not get 100% roof rights because everybody lives in a society nobody okay but the very least you can do is insist on a vrv a vrv is kind of like a central air conditioning but it saves you a heck of a lot of energy mhm here the problem is do you know the number of quacks you have in india 50% will tell you vrv laga lo energy save hoga another 50% will are vrv sir bahut kharch hoga aapka mm i want you to actually go read up the science of a vrv it will save you so much money it is insane 
वेस्ट क्या पागल है कि सब अपने घर में एच वैक वी आर वी टाइप का एच वैक लगाते हैं विच सेव दॉट ऑफ मनी विच डज हीटिंग एंड कूलिंग वो लोग साइंस फॉलो करते हैं हम लोग तो साइंस को मानते ही नहीं ना इट इज अ वेस्टर्न कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर अस यू नो यू विल हैव अ पीएचडी इन न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स हु विल गो बाय व्हाट इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टर टेल्स हिम हु हैज गॉट अ हु इज 10th स्टैंडर्ड पास किसने बोला आपको वीआरवी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंज्यूम करता है अरे वो कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ने बोला था हां भेंचो उसका एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन क्या है उसके घर में वीआरवी है नहीं उसने बस देखा है बड़ा कंडेंसर यूनिट है इसीलिए बोल रहा है हो इतना अगर एसी इतना छोटा एसी का इतना होता है तो इतना बड़ा एसी का इतना कूलिंग होता है व्हाट द वीआरवी डज इज बिकॉज़ देयर इज ओनली वन हीटिंग यूनिट आउट देयर इट विल सी टू इट दैट ऑल योर हीट ही द हीटिंग पार्ट ऑफ कूलिंग हैपेंस ओनली एट वन प्लेस ऑन वन बालकनी ओके इट सेव्स यू 7 10 डिफरेंट यूनिट्स it is upgradable and downgradable if you are using just one outlet unit it downgrades to it unlike an ac which can't an ac it depends if even if you are running it at 26 degrees or at 16 degrees it's still using up that two tons of coolant mhm unlike a vrv which upgrades and downgrades based on how much you are using mhm okay so it's a fantastic solution for small bombay houses if you have a balcony Uh, like even in a small apartment like lodha one you will get enough space for a small vrv which is more than enough for your house okay and where the exhaust is coming that heat thing is coming that is your drying balcony usme laga do jaldi se jaldi because it's dry air coming out of there it will also dry your thing theek hai got so it okay they okay. don't want to invest in it they so for example my house has seven rooms the vrv system for this costs around 5 and a half lakhs as opposed to they will think ki why don't i get seven three star acs not even five star acs i will get seven three star acs for 40000 each 2.8 lakhs what is the electricity cost of that what is the maintenance cost of that कोई सोचता नहीं है टू टन्स रनिंग इट टू टन्स सी दीज ऑल वर्क लाइक यू नो वेन वी टॉकिंग अबाउट वेपन सिस्टम ऑन इंटर ऑपरेबिलिटी एंड हाउ थिंग्स वर्क इफ देर ऑल पार्ट ऑफ एन इको सिस्टम द सेविंग्स कम वेन यू मैच एवरी थिंग टूगेदर यू नीड द डबल ग्लेज विंडोज यू नीड द वी आर वी फॉर हीटिंग सिस्टम गो इन फॉर अ हीट पंप हीटिंग सिस्टम I know in Bombay you guys don't really have a winter, so you know you you can you don't even need the heater. In Delhi it is freezing, and I like bathing in hot water irrespective of if it is summer or winter. So what ends up happening is I actually uh, 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 go in for a two hundred liter solar plus heat. Now solar everybody can't do, but everybody can do a heat pump system, where you can actually have a hot shower for half an hour. without the water getting not even half an hour you can do it for one two hours without the water getting cold either most houses put, that put 25 to 30 liter ones after 10 minutes the water is cold what is the point yaar rehna hai to kam se kam achhi tarah se to raho so this is why i say 90% of your budget should go into the bones of the house because you do not get a second opportunity to do that over into the waterproofing into the insulation into the cooling and into the water heating if you don't cook fine leave that to the cook and you can put in whatever but then don't go in for a bosh just go in for a normal stove wo kya dikhawa karna hai built in stove ka mhm unless one of your family members is cooking in which case you owe it to them to make their life easy to make it pleasurable for them ye nahi meri budhiya maa are wo to 2 saal mein marne wali hai chudel jalle do kitchen mein mera kya jata hai hmm theek hai think do your research before you do, build a house take one day a week for 52 weeks for two years before visit something new visit a new showroom visit things do your research never okay. do anything without research 
so so somebody has asked a question how do we get fresh air circulation in the entire house when we have used double glazing and superior ceiling i tested low o2 in one such house sincerely want to know as i intend to use the same low o2 just show me the picture okay here mm. okay so uh, it it's very simple uh, you know what happens with this is when you're using an air purifier and things these form a hermetic seal but there's lots of places where oxygen is coming in so you actually good very get the, your hvac system if you use it this uh, inverter system they have a cycling system which keeps sucking in new air so you're actually getting very fresh air i actually tried this because i smoke inside the house as you've all seen now in this house what happens is that when i smoke the room gets smoky and it's my kids that are getting uh, affected by it. my kids mani ye do shaitan bachche i don't know if you can see them the dogs is that they later uh but uh in a vrv house it almost clears it like an air purifier clears it it sucks it all out and it regenerates and brings things back you have to Sorry. ask dekin or mitsubishi dekin and mitsubishi make the best as far as i'm concerned uh, as far as i'd seen i actually went to the dekin showroom in gurgaon and i wanted to smoke in there they had to get permission oh sir you can't smoke in here blah blah bullshit and they like look boss this is my house if if you want to do a sale to me i have to test it in my this thing and then you know he was like theek hai sir aap kar lo par please iska photo mat lena iska video mat lena etc etc I smoked and boss within like three four minutes because that was a super powerful HVAC. You don't need that kind of power. It cleared the room. There was no smoke. Got it. So Got you it. do have those options. Hmm. So are blinds not better than curtains because of dry cleaning costs? Uh, yes and no. Uh, blinds don't look very classy, uh, but. Uh, they do accumulate see if you've got the roll blinds it's fine if you've got the venetian blinds they're horrible to clean please don't get those are wo to bend bhi ho jate hai re side se eventually but those uh, sheer yeah. things are uh, yeah they are cheaper uh, to maintain also they're good they don't look very good my big issue is that uh, the uh, cost of uh, dry cleaning remember it depends if you've got what i'm talking about the double glazed windows and uh, uh, minimal air conditioning because it reduces your air conditioning cost also if your house requires say 15 tons worth of air conditioning with double glazing you're only going to require about 3 4 tons worth of air conditioning for the entire house uh, you know it's almost a factor of uh, 3 or 4 reduction in the cooling that you require in that case when your house is almost hermetically sealed in that sense because these hvacs also have filters and things like that which get cleaned during the uh, uh, maintenance process uh which happens twice a year uh for about 3 4 hours uh, uh this thing uh your curtains will stay perfectly the problem with curtains getting dirty in india is because of not having double glazing or hermetically sealing and the amount of dust that comes into the house so like i said the cleaning alone comes down so massively it's not even funny Mhm. Okay. Finesta does the good double glazed windows. It is what they use in planes. Also Abhijit moved to Gurgaon on the golf course road. DLF has a lot of good houses. Boss, main roz almost every week main Suhail Seth ke ghar jata hu. Wo DLF Magnolia mein rehta hai. I will never buy a DLF property. <laughs> चूतियों को ना ही तो स्पेस प्लान करना आता है ना ही तो क्वालिटी प्लानिंग का आता है दे हैव सच लो क्लास शिट इट्स नॉट इवन फनी द प्लानिंग इज सो बैड द क्वालिटी इज सो बैड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपग्रेड द क्वालिटी यू हैव टू पुट इन इन सेन अमाउंट ऑफ मनी टू अपग्रेड दैट एंड एज इट इज दो अपार्टमेंट आर सुपर डुपर एक्सपेंसिव yeah it's very okay. expensive yeah which is why you need to get 
uh, I, I will never move to Gurgaon, especially to one of those flats. Sure, society living, I'll get a much better thing here. For my swimming, I have to go to a different location, uh, 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 which is like a 10-15 minute car drive away. But the house is exactly as I want it. I am not settling for a trashy house built by DLF. And DLF is one of the better builders. Most other builders are shocking. Mm. Just for the sake of living in a compound with a swimming pool. I'm just not going to do that. And, and a gym. I'm sorry, but and a view of the golf course. Yeah, this one last was a comment on Mumbai curse. Living in Mumbai and building a house. Are you Ambani? <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> but, Rahul, remember, if you already have a house in a society up for redevelopment, you can do miracles with it. If you have, you know, if you have the stamina to stand out and insist on small things with your builders, which is say that you will do girder construction because in Bombay you go like what minimum 20, 30 stories high these days. Uh, you insist that it'll be girder construction with a free form interior that you can redo anytime you want. In fact, Bombay will have that advantage where instead of brick walls, you insist on those commercial metal frame with carbon silicate uh, partition walls that commercial things use. And it'll be fantastic fantastic for you you will be able to uh, uh you know do up your house several times in the 30 40 years that you live out there uh for not very high costs uh it could actually be a cheaper construction method uh and you can do up your house every 10 years if you get bored with it as opposed to a dairy house where nobody's no builder is going to agree to a girder construction whereas for bombay kind of houses you need to have girders because mm -hmm. uh, cement can't deal with that kind of weight. So you need those metal struts to, um, uh, metal pillars and struts to support them. So, you know, if you do little things like that, I am giving you the first principles. Apply it in terms of cooling, in terms of, there are some things which apply to everything. So double glazing applies to everything. But DLF, like Amit Raina brought up, they have central air conditioning everywhere. You don't install your own air conditioners. Okay, as opposed to uh, another place where Shazia Elmi lives, which is called DLF Kings Court, where you have individual ACs and that is also, again, so horrible. The biggest problem that both DLF owner, DLF owners, both in Magnolia, Aralia, uh, Kings Court, be it in GK or in Gurgaon have. Wona, apne ek minute. Let, let me share my screen again. I'll show you this. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, okay, new tab. Share DLF Magnolia. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to show you something in this. I don't know if I'm showing you something. Is this a high-res image? Yeah, it is a high-res image. It's taking time to load. One sec. Stop sharing and present and share screen again. DLF Magnolia. Now, now, can you see this part? Exclusive apartment. Mere ko kya ka exclusive apartment chahiye re? Gallery mein ja, gallery. Ah, gallery. Nahi, ye sab interior ka hai. They, they will have a exterior view too. Ha, okay. See this. Now, you know what the biggest problem with DLF is? For whatever reason, you see this kind of lattice work thing that they put. Usko ventilation bolte na, wo construction language. Mein. Hai. Kya hota hai? All the pigeons come, create nest here. The entire thing is a bloody shithole, disease carrying. It is not a ventilation mechanism, it is a disease spreading mechanism. This particular thing is more dangerous than the Wuhan uh, coronavirus lab. You are more likely to get some seriously dangerous disease from the so-called ventilation than you yeah. are from anything else. So so what uh, what people should do is if they have these things, put a jali on the bottom, put a now, jali on you the know, top. A lot of people put jali, but the thing is these... And then jali all across so and fat. basically close the whole damn thing. <laughs> they are so fat that you can only put jali on the interior. You can't ruin the exterior look. 
yeah and so it doesn't make any sense na fir so to what pigeon, happens is pigeon the, the, the pigeons then sit on the ledges yeah and they shit out there so so most people don't know that pigeons ke surrounding mein rehne se you have breathing problems Huge. stop feeding pigeons wo jo kabutar khana hai na uske bare mein kabhi research padhna uske surrounding area mein logo ko kya issues hain बॉम्बे में कबूतर खाना है तेरे को मालूम है एक मंदिर है मंदिर से हम लोग दादर से ऐसे वो जाते हैं और राइट टर्न लेते हैं और इधर एक बहुत बड़ा कबूतर खाना है उसके सराउंडिंग में देखना आर द रैट्स ऑफ द स्काई दे आर द ब्यूबोनिक प्ले कैरिंग रैट्स ऑफ द स्काई आई हैव एन एयर गन एट होम जस्ट टू किल रैट्स एंड टू किल पिजंस इट इज द ओनली स्लॉटर आई डू नॉट फॉर फूड पर्पसेस आई डू इट फॉर हेल्थ पर्पसेस because it's better i live than they live and it's really a question of whether you live or they live so i am not joking this up huh? by the way if people don't yes, trust me uh yes, the kind of leptospirosis you get with rats running about your house so, you know simple things like for example if you put a uh, garbage crusher under your sink you've basically insulated the sink from any rats coming up the sink these are true by the way this is true see i am telling you these are res- causing respiratory issues do not support pigeon kabutar khanas they are a bad idea people a horrible idea <laughs> jisne bhi ye idea nikala hai bahut hi ghatiya hai bahut hi ghatiya hai theek hai so hmm. do these things i mean keep these at the back of your mind one thing does not suit all but there are certain first principles i want you to think about and apply all my podcasts to you have been applied about thinking meta not thinking micro because when you think meta your micro approaches become a lot easier theek hai na so next prakar raghuvanshi ka question hai I'm, i'm not, not building a it's not a question it is just a comment as a question hai any good quality builder in pune i mean i think godrej is decent i think godrej is the best of the lot i wasn't impressed yeah. with lodha at all but mm-hmm. godrej has been decent but again bus a builder is out to screw you understand that building is the most corrupt business in india It, it is, is not actually. note printing. It is not the Telgi scam. It is not the two uh, G scam. It is not the uh, uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav's fodder scam. Uh, it is not your bloody Beaufort scam. Construction is the biggest bloody fraud in this country. And all uh, politicians are. Uh, Every uh, politician has a. They are involved in building. In building. <laughs> Because building is the easiest way to launder your money. Uh, but Godrej buildings are good. At least my experience in Mumbai, looking at Godrej housing complexes, uh, are uh, are good. I have personally visited a few societies of Godrej. They are decent. Now, if you live in Bangalore and want to redevelop your property, it's very similar to Delhi because you've had these four, and now you can go up to I don't know fifteen, twenty, or something like that. Very similar things will apply in both Madras and in. uh uh bangalore in bombay it's completely different because you live in a society what you need to do is you need to start planning like a society if your society tere society mein kitne log rehte hain 20 families oh not even 20 pagal hamari society mein 10 family bhi nahi rehti hain okay 10 10 families you need to split up as 5 and 5 doing good cop and bad cop five of you need to go to godrej and say आप हमारा ये डेवलप कर लो अदर फाइव नीड टू से ओ नो 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 यू सी वी हैव ऑल दीज कंसर्न यू हैव टू गिव अस डबल रिलेज यू हैव टू गिव सो प्ले द गुड कॉप बैड कॉप रिमेंबर देर इज नो हार्म इन स्क्रूइंग अ पर्सन आउट टू स्क्रू यू इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू पुट दिस इन सेक्सिस मिसोजनिस्ट लैंग्वेज देर इज नो हार्म इन टेकिंग अ पेंसिल एंड गाउजिंग द आई ऑफ योर रेपिस्ट आउट you shouldn't do it normally but if somebody is sexually assaulting you tumhara hak banta hai your builder is out to screw you you screw him there is no hero builder in this country sabke sab chutiye hain builders builders ka profit motive alag hota hai dusro ka okay last question uh, 
uh, in uh, the other podcast you once mentioned you'll write a paper after collecting data i want to understand how much analysis you do and what is your process of inferring ideas from data for any white paper look the data is largely done by my research assistants i only do the analysis on top of that see it's a question of how you categorize it how you sequence it etc etc i don't depend on my research assistants to ever do that i only depend on them to collect certain things and give it to me and then i do the categorization and you know categorization itself helps in analysis once you sequence it once you comparative it this chain of events happened but at the same time another chain of events was happening and then you begin to see the connections the mere systematization of data alone gives you 50% of your analysis and then you, how you connect the dots is entirely up to you that's how things work hmm okay on the builder bit i would say if you are looking for see every local area so i'll share my experience because <laughs> My father has a lot of builder friends. अगर गलती से अंकल लोगों ने देख लिया बोलेंगे ए तू हमको गाली दे रहा है पॉडकास्ट में नहीं अंकल आपको नहीं दे रहा बट इन बिल्डिंग दिस इज माई ओपिनियन a lot of what builders are forced to do is actually not done by their own free will it is done by political pressure pressure of the local area gunda i i know i have builder friends i i don't know how to say this but i know what torture they go through it it's a it's a mess i don't know about delhi that much so i will not comment on delhi bengaluru chennai and all those areas i know mumbai very well i understand the torture builders go through i'm not saying they are innocent players they are but see there are big builders who are not innocent at all but there are many mid to small level builders of your local area who actually just want to make a good building and move on so in fact i would always say main naam nahi lunga because then it becomes very problematic ki kushal is supporting a builder or b builder but there are some really good builders for example in where i live in chembur like they have a great name that they take a project for redevelopment they actually interact with the housing society members they do what they can best but you have to understand the amount of bribes a builder has to pay in india are just monumental in monumental and that is why municipal corporation elections are the most contested because yes. that is mumbai municipal the... corporation elections are the thing maharashtra mein kisi seat ke itne paise nahi diye jate jitne mumbai bmc ke diye jate hain it is insane like people have no idea why shiv sena at a, and i don't want to make this political pod, podcast political but why do you think shiv sena frets the most about bmc boss you have no idea the amount of money is at stake in bmc it is the richest municipal body of the country ladies and gentlemen you have no idea how much money is at stake and that's why shiv sena gets emotional but anyways we'll wrap it up over here when abhijit gets into phase 2 of his house building we will we will discuss the phase 2 again uh, so but the next both. time phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 what i'm going to do is uh, when the uh, shell comes up and when the waterproofing is being done i'm going to take you on a live trip and that will have to be a recorded one Uh, so i'll show you how i'm supervising the waterproofing how i'm supervising the plumbing how i'm supervising the electricity you know a lot of times in your houses what is happening is your switch keeps malfunctioning mm. within about one two years of moving in do you know why because all the bloody cement ka chhidka and dust that has gone in yes. settled in yes. uh, your water will stop coming full pressure your ac will stop coming full force you know why because that same cement chhidka has gone into you have to ensure during the process you have to have a your uh, uh supervisor who goes and sees to it that all of it is wrapped in cellophane uh in plastic whatever while the painting and the cementing is being done okay perfect in fact you know what we can do and then finally we will culminate this by recording a podcast whenever your house is ready i will fly personally to delhi and then we'll record the final podcast in your house you will do it that way it will be in about a year year and a half when the interiors will also be done unlike yeah. most in i'm painting my house black yes kala kyu kar raha tu but you know why it's counterintuitive but colors pop out colors antiques i have lots of antiques uh colors antiques paintings they pop out much more in black than they do in white white is a sterile environment 
black is a cozy environment and you're going to see that you're going to see that okay we'll see we'll see all right chalo i'm getting canadian black ash flows okay very good chalo we'll wrap it up as always go take good care of yourselves and uh, i'll see you next time brother theek hai tata bye oh, all right guys bye bye so as always subscribe to the channel like this video if you have any comments or questions go ask them on social media to abhijit i have left his twitter handle in the bio support the podcast by becoming a member on youtube fanmo patreon wherever you are buy the merch on kushalmehra.com or send your donations to upi i'll see you next time bye